Hey everybody, I just found this old 8mm video that we took like back in 1970 of a family vacation that we took down in the Bermuda Triangle, uh, the Devil's Triangle. For us it turned out to be the Devil's Triangle. And what is this? Is It's my kids. They, you know, they were, the, yeah, the film pauses here for a little bit, but it starts back up. But they found this 59 Pontiac sunken down there in the ocean they're in the, the devil's triangle and it's so crazy because when we our family car at that time was a 59 pontiac it wasn't red like this one and it wasn't a hard top it was a bubble top but but anyways they found this and so they were interested and they thought oh wow there's a car like ours down in the ocean dad and so they went down there to, to check it all out and in the process it wound up becoming this just crazy kind of insane thing where yeah yeah they made friends with this tuna fish while they were down there too but they uh found this and they were they were messing around there i don't know how long that i just got kind of worried about them and i decided to get a hold of some people locals there to go out looking for them those guys there and they were called the ot and the mott twins and those guys weren't even twins or they weren't even related. They were just a couple of drunks that were always together and always drunk and they were known as Ott and Mott twins. But uh so these guys my my kids there, you know, they'd been gone so long I even got to where I says, I'm gonna you know, I got up and went out looking for them in this old Boston whaler that we had. Well actually it wasn't an old Boston whaler then it was it was pretty new. But uh, so I, I went out looking for them too, and luckily I found them. Now this this video gets a little weird here, and like I said, it's not really a video; it's an eight millimeter movie that we redid and put it on DVD. And now I'm showing this thing here. But they're down there, and all kinds of crazy stuff happened while while this was going on, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. This thing will start up again. I don't know why it's taking so long. I don't remember it pausing this long. Uh, okay, it's moving again. But they're down there checking this car out. In the meantime, I'm out. I, I get people out looking for them because we're worried about them. And you see that? You see that shit? That guy that just slammed the door on him, he was this local maniac drug dealer by the name of Steve Foley, and we found out later after it was all done and over with that this guy had had this car as a place to, to like drop off, where the drugs were dropped off that he was, you know, then distributing in the Miami area. And he seen my kids there, and he thought they were like, I don't know, trying to steal his stuff or, or some kind of people. There's the Ott and March ones again. They, I think they were sober that day, actually, but it doesn't matter. But that's me. That's me in the Boston Whaler. And thank God I got there when I did, because they, they, were, they were down to, like, one tank, and they, they had to share the one tank by the time I got there. And like I said, the cops, you know, they did arrest that Foley character. That's that, that tuna fish kept hanging around with them the whole time of that. That fish really took a liking to him. I don't know what the hell that thing is. An egg timer, I guess, but... Uh, a little bit. I don't know how long this goes. It's been a while since I watched it. But I know I do show up and I, and, and, and I get them out of that car. It's pretty crazy. I wonder if that car's still there. It's probably, if it is, it's, there I am, that's me, that's me. Now you watch this, it's pretty funny. You'll notice that my socks start to come off. And by the time I'm finished getting them out of the car, my socks have, have completely came off my feet. And we always, to this day now, call this video the drop your socks and grab your crowbar video. And that's what we call it. That was the good old days. I could hold my breath a lot better back then. I was kidding my, my wife about it. I said I could hold my breath back then. 
for a long time now, instead of holding my breath, I'm always trying to catch my breath. But, as you can see, this wasn't your regular family vacation, that's for sure. Did get them out. And I, I, you know, that's about it. It's just about over. I, I really hope you folks watched, it, got to see this, liked it, and thanks a lot for watching. And I'm going to be digging around. I might find some mother old home videos, I hope. I hope, I hope. 